Hi, just taking apart a very cheap and cheerful ThinkPad R61 slash R500. This is the model it's powering, this R500 here. A laptop power supply. Now this is a cheap generic Chinese one made by a company called Jet. Jet? What's that guy? Jet? Jet? Jet, 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 jet. I don't know, it's just a cheap generic one. Had it about six years. Now, when I bought the R61, which is now upstairs in the spares box, um, the supplier sent me a power supply, which was a genuine one, genuine Lenovo one, sim similar to this one here. Um, but it had a nick on the power cable, so I asked him to send me another power supply, and he did very kindly, but it was this cheap generic one. Now, for months and months and months, this has been, when you turn the laptop on with this plugged into it, the laptop would be whining, uh, like a very high pitched sort of coil whine in the kilohertz frequencies, the whining of the coils, which indicates they're not getting enough power or there's some sort of ripple or undercurrent. Anyway, so I bought a new, well, I bought a replacement power supply, the one I showed you a second ago, this genuine one. Um, and then now the the whining doesn't occur anymore. Now when I pulled this old cheap thing apart, you can see inside that's the electrolyte from the output, uh, the low voltage side capacitors, the 19 volt side capacitors, the uh, reservoir caps. You see the electrolytes burst out of the capacitors and, and leaked all over the inside of the housing. This side doesn't have any on there but anyway you can see on the capacitors here these are two output caps here on the low voltage side and you can see the cans the top of the scoring on the cans um shows they've bulged somewhat let me zoom out that's very fuzzy if i turn this over you can see this sort of convex which they shouldn't be they should be totally flat on top they design it most well all as i say all most electro electrolytic capacitors have um, scoring in the aluminium of the, of the top cap so if the capacitor starts to bulge instead of, instead of exploding the metal will just bulge and split along the score lines but obviously it's just bulged here and stopped uh, these caps have dried out so they're now useless if I were to put two new, two new capacitors in this I'm sure it would work again but to be honest with you is it worth it because it's a cheap power supply in the first first place Quan, Quan low capacitors. I've never heard of those. I'm not a cap expert, but I've never heard of those. The rest of the board seems okay. There's no excessive browning or blackening, or it's got good primary and secondary separation, as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, that's what just wanted to show you that because that's what was causing this to. So the, the power supply from this was causing the laptop to whine because it was getting undercurrent. This goes back together very simply. This this thing, I just basically as a all-in-one U-shaped U heatsink, a U cross check, a U cross section heatsink, and you basically put that back down on there like that. Slide that back over, and there's a nut and a bolt for each um, transistor or power regulator, whatever, whatever these things here are. There's one there, and there's one there i don't know the schematic for this for this board so i'm not sure what they are anyway basically you screw those back together again i don't think i'll bother though because it's a cheap cheap unit it's just interesting to see i haven't done switch by power supplies for years well it's they're very simple but the means of operation are very basic and simple they can be complicated complex in their design but actually the, the principle is very simple you get a get an input mains voltage here you rectify it here, bridge rectifier. You smooth it with a, with a reservoir cap, then you chop it with a transistor or an IC. In this case, it looks like it's just an, a transistor. It's a very basic design. There's no ICs anywhere to be seen. As far as IC, oh dear, dear. pardon me. At least it's fused. Not all products from China are fused, so there we go. But yeah, anyway, so basically the mains comes in, it's rectified, it's smoothed, it's filtered. It's chopped into this 
uh, step down transformer, this ferrite core transformer, and then the output is then regulated and smooth. It's a very crude unit actually. Then the output has got one, one sort of. What is that transistor? What is that? What is that? Now I'm mentioning. I'm trying to. Now I'm saying. Look at it. I'm trying to work out what it is. I can't even see. Look off camera. No, I can't make out what it is. Anyway, it's basically some sort of regulator to drop it down to 19 volts and keep it there. Um, there's a cap there of some sort. No doubt that's EMI suppression. And uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the reason this failed. The caps, uh, the caps swelled, swelled, swelled up and leaked the electrolyte all over the case, so they're now no longer effective. So, if you see bulging capacitors, just replace them. But make sure they're not high voltage ones. And if they are, short them out first with a suitable the value, suitable uh, resistor of suitable value, because they can uh, give you quite a jolt, quite lethal actually. For example, this one here, which is a I'd say probably a 450 volt cap, I should think. Consider it's on the main side, it's going to be 450 volts in the UK. That cap will have a bleed resistor across it, which is this one here, which when the supply is unplugged or off, this will gradually, quickly discharge the mains, the 450 volts or thereabouts across this cap, down to zero over time to prevent, prevent shock. That's a standard safety feature in power supplies. You have a bleed resistor across the... It's high enough value so it doesn't affect the capacitor in a mega ohms range. If it's low enough uh, that it doesn't create a significant impedance path. Um, what, what am I trying to say? It's it's you know, basically it it bleeds the the capacitor dry, um, like a horrible ex-wife, but in a less violent way. Um, I'm rambling. Anyway, God bless you.